In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add fake moon in your video in Adobe After Effects. We'll add moon in three different scenarios. First, we'll do the easiest one. When we have a fixed background, we just need to place the moon. We do not need to do any tracking or anything. Let's bring the moon picture into our timeline. It's a PNG file, so we don't need to do any masking. We need to reduce its size. Press S for a scale and reduce it. I will place it here. You know in real life the moon should look very small in our camera. But in this example, let's just make it a little bigger so everyone can see it clearly. Since the background is blurry, so we need to blur it as well. Go to effects and presets and search for Gaussian blur. Apply it to the moon layer. Around 40 blurriness should work. You can also reduce the opacity if you want. Press T for opacity and reduce it to around 70%. Finally, we need to add some glow to it. Select the ellipse tool and create a circle. Make the circle just a tiny bit bigger than the moon. Now add Gaussian blur to the circle. Place the circle just below the moon layer. If you think the glow is too much, then you can reduce the opacity. This is so simple and easy. Okay, now let's go to our second example. This is very similar to our last example. Here also the background is fixed, but we need to do one more extra step. Since we have trees or mountains in the background, we need to mask out those areas for the moon. The first few steps are exactly the same as our last example. First, place the moon and blur it. Create a circle for the glow and add blur to it. Then place it below to the moon layer. Okay, now we need to mask out the moon where the mountains are. Let's pre-compose these two layers. So we just need to draw only one mask. Now select the pen tool and draw a path around the mountains. You can reduce the opacity for the moon layer to see the mountains better. By default, the mask is set to add, but we want the opposite, so set it to subtract. Now the problem is, the edge areas are too sharp. We can fix it by increasing the mask feather. Around 20 pixels will do. Now it looks more natural. Ok, great. Now let's go to our final example. In this footage, the camera is moving. So, if we just place the moon, it will not work. We need to track the movement of the background, so the moon can follow it. The first few steps are same as before. Add blur, add the glow, and then pre-compose those two layers. If I play now, you see the moon stays in the same areas of our screen. It doesn't work that way, right? So we need to track the movement. Go to Tracker. If you can see it here, then go to Window and then select Tracker. We can turn off the moon layer for our convenience. Now select Track Motion. You will see two boxes. Now pick any areas in the background that is distinguishable. Here we can pick that orange light. Drag the boxes and place it there. Now click the Analyze Forward button and After Effects will try to track its motion. Since we pick a very high contrast area, so it should be very easy for After Effects to track it. Now we need to create a null object. A null object is like a placeholder where you can add different effects and control them. Ok, now click Edit Target and select the null object that we just created. Now hit Apply. Now if we play, well, nothing changes because we didn't link the moon layer to our null object yet. Click and hold the pick flip icon and attach it to the null object. And there we go. Now if we play, we'll see the moon is following the background as it is actually there. So this is how you can easily add fake moon into your videos. I hope you enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified for more videos. I will see you on in our next video. Thank you so much for watching.